The acquisition of guard Shaq Mason by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers closed a significant gap in the team's offensive line ahead of the 2022 season. Tom Brady returns to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for yet another season after winning the Super Bowl a little more than a year ago. Despite this, there are still some unanswered questions on both sides of the football field. The question is now whether general manager Jason Light will select a veteran rather than a youngster during the upcoming draft, given that the team is clearly in win-now mode. We'll take a look at three different Tampa Bay Buccaneers trade possibilities in preparation for the 2022 NFL Draft. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers trade out of the first round. Tampa Bay, which owns the 27th overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, is in a strong position to trade out of day one of the draft. Typically, teams selecting near the top of the second round pay a higher price for a late first round selection than teams selecting later in the round. It affords them the opportunity to exercise the crucial fifth year option. Because the quarterback class is currently considered to be weak, there is a chance that a first round talent will be available at the 27th pick. If this is the case, Tampa must take advantage of the situation. Teams such as the New York Giants, the Seattle Seahawks, and the Indianapolis Colts may try to move up in the draft to get a quarterback. A trade might bring Tampa Bay an additional third round pick and change in the draft, giving GM Jason Light and his staff more options in the future. Tampa Bay Buccaneers now have Donovan Smith, who is a young man with a lot of potential. Over the course of his seven-year NFL career, Smith has established himself as a reliable left tackle for the Buccaneers, appearing in all 111 games in which he has appeared during that time. As a result, why would the Buccaneers even think about dealing Brady's blindside protector for anything? It is in fact rather straightforward. To eventually replace Smith, the Buccaneers selected fellow lineman Tristan Wirfs with the number 13 overall pick in 2020. The Iowa product is coming off his first ever Pro Bowl trip and is expected to move to the left tackle position in the near future. The Buccaneers would gain flexibility if they were to trade Smith and his hefty contract. Sure, it would result in a dead cap charge for the remainder of the season, but it would also provide opportunities for Werfs. An early round selection for Donovan Smith would be acquired in this transaction, with an experienced right tackle from the NFL free agent market being added as a backup. Players such as Nate Soldier, Dwayne Brown, Brian Balaga, Eric Fisher, Riley Reef, Marcus Cannon, Daryl Williams, and Mike Remmers are still available, as a plethora of other talent. You get the gist of it. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made some moves to get additional star power. We wouldn't be surprised if Light and company use their first round pick and other assets to pull off another spectacular move in the coming months. The fact that Bruce Arians has retired does not detract from the fact that this team is in full scale win now mode. Even if it means sacrificing their long-term relevancy, using up all of their draft resources to get another elite player may be a wise decision. When it comes to the needs of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, there isn't much to look at. It wouldn't make sense for Saquon Barkley of the Giants to join the team. He may possibly be acquired by the Bucs for a mid-round draft pick, which would be a bargain. The addition of someone like Atlanta Falcons Pro Bowl defensive lineman Grady Jarrett would be a big bonus if the Buccaneers were to go big game hunting. He's considered to be one of the best interior linemen in the whole NFL, and he might be yours if you pay the proper amount. The combination of Jarrett and Vita Vey in the Buccaneers' front three would be absolutely fantastic in the front of the likes of Shaq Barrett and Joe Tyron Shoyanka, just to name a few names. What moves do you guys think that the Buccaneers should make ahead of the NFL Draft? Let us know all your opinions in the comment section below. Well guys, thank you so much for joining in and making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any of our future uploads. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time.